Okay, call this meeting to order. Let the record show that everybody present. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I think all of you got a copy of the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion, corrections? If not, all those in favor and the key by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nobody saying aye. 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 Aye.
you know, I, I propose that we take it out of contingency, and then with, with the money that we make from the fairgrounds, we would reimburse that fund. Judge? Yes. <coughs> the sign up the fairplex there in the balance? Mm -hmm. They have sponsors. Yeah. Would it be worth we it? To yeah, that, that, no. that's the second step. We put there, and then we're going to find sponsors to, to sponsor the site. And if we get any money from advertising sponsors, then we could uh, reimburse the contingency. Sure. And we couldn't just, I mean, if we tabled this and just took two weeks to get our sponsors first. We're going to look at it. What were we at on the, what was the cost? I, I didn't no, have 66, 000. 66, 000. 66. 66, 000. 66, 000. I know we have some stuff here in a little bit to discuss on the district attorney stuff. We do. Yeah. And uh, money there. Yes. Can... If there is funding available, is that a place we can get it from? Absolutely. Okay. And the then reimburse we that for yeah. sponsorships if we get sponsors. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we want to do a reimbursement program. We might want to set up a line on revenue because this would be this would be a continuous revenue stream, correct? Well, my deal is the the one at the high school. The high school just is doing one right now, and what they did is they they set up sponsorships, mm -hmm. and they're going to pay X amount. Uh, every year, I think, yeah. four years, the high dollar sponsors, and then the other ones are just a one-time, one-time thing. But this is sixty-six thousand dollars. I mean, if you got six sponsors, ten yeah. and change, twelve and change, I mean, you could. Uh, yeah, just, and at the same time, what I plan to do is, if, if you want your event to uh, advertise, whenever you have an event, we could charge maybe twenty-five dollars more for, let's say. So we would generate uh, funds for that sign also. So it was my understanding what we're going to have is yeah. a digital sign like this, and right. then we're going to sell yeah the sides sponsorships on the sides to generate revenue, which is a double sided yeah double sided yeah. deal. I, I think that what we need to do is uh, table this judge and study a little bit further and lock in some sponsors. You know, if you before we we buy the the sign and commit to paying for the sign. I mean, that, that's my opinion. But judge, if you had a couple of commissioners, because the judge can't go out and solicit, but no. if you had a couple of commissioners go out and visit, I think we could. Yeah. I think we could pay for it. Yeah. I, I mean, what I'm doing is I'm trying to bring ideas <coughs> in. Whatever you guys decide, we can do. It's, I don't have a problem I, with it at this point. I think putting the sign is a good idea. Okay. If we can sell some sponsorships or get some revenue to do that, and then offset it through whatever we need you know, <coughs> internally. I don't know what you're going to sell the the, the, the sign, the sponsorship for. <laughs> I'd say the twelve, the twelve thousand. <laughs> 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 you know, make sure that you get to pay it off. We can take the advertising through the newspaper. <laughs> Everybody reads the newspaper. Depends on who you ask. That's where we get our sponsors. I appreciate you reading. It. And the chamber, <laughs> the chamber could help us yeah. even with the list of chamber and companies or something. Could we not use hotel motel tax for that? I don't see how that's going to promote someone to come to our community to reassign. Uh, okay. The event, absolutely, but the actual sign. We could look into it, absolutely, but. I, mean, I think this is a good thing, and I'd, I'd like to see us try to get something put up before the George Paul so that we can advertise the George Paul a little bit more, along with the other events that are going on out there. Um, I would be inclined to say that we purchase it through that additional revenue through the DA's deal and then reimburse that fund once we get the, the signs and the sponsorships and all that stuff. So I know you made a motion, Commissioner Borlo. Would you, you are um, probably Commissioner Owens, be in charge of high, getting sponsors or whatever? I'd, I'd rather it wouldn't be me right now. Okay. That's just because it's going All right. On. Bo, you want to Bo? Bo, Bo's in charge. <laughs> Put me in charge. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. So there's a motion. Commissioner Wardlaw made it. You want to say What was the motion? What was the motion? What was the motion? I don't what was the motion? I don't know. Martin. To approve the purchase of the sign. And to get sponsorships? And? I'll second that. Well, where are we going to get the additional, the, 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 the money from to start with? They will come up later in the meeting. 
No, we need to figure it right now. We need to negotiate with the. Uh, well, we need to deal with this DA stuff. So. Yeah. <coughs> let's uh. Let's come back. To let's it. come back to it once we deal with the DA stuff. Okay. okay. All right. So there's a motion that's on. There's a motion so second. I didn't second it yet. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. So it dies. Dies. We'll we'll bring it back. I'll make a motion to table until later on in the meeting. Second. Second. Tell those in favor to keep by saying aye. Aye. Now, do we want to discuss and uh, pass motion on ratification of the district attorney's audit right now or in an executive session? We have five minutes to that public yeah. hearing. Okay. So, uh, Judge, do we have? Mrs. Smith had recommended tabling that item. Okay. I don't know if you saw her email. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Motion. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor, make the say aye. Aye. All right. those opposed, my buddy, five zero. All right. On item ten, we're also going to discuss it in the session because I want to change this on on the on the uh, qualification for that. So we'll discuss that one. Let's go now to item eleven. Discuss possible action on the results of bids received January fifth, twenty eighteen, with possible award. Text dot CDBG seventy two one sixty seventy five corner construction fund materials only bid. For bigger, bigger water line expansion project. We had two uh, two bids. Uh, it's on, on your bid sheet. This one where it says TRC bid openings. That's the engineering company that's working on this. We had uh, Ferguson and HD Supply, who was now Core and Main. And those are the two bids. Ferguson's the lowest bidder there. That's correct. That's the recommendation. I will make a motion to accept. Uh, Ferguson bid and I have the judge sign. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor, make it by saying aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Was opposed. Everybody, thank you. Item 12, discuss possible action on authorizing the final list by the county judge to sign a materials only contract upon review by county attorney. Motion to approve. So motion. Second. 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 Commissioner Owens. All those in favor, make it by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nobody. I do. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we have about four minutes, so let's do 13. Discuss possible action regarding the selection committee results from the request for qualification for professional audit services. I think some of you already got those. Yeah, I just uh, brought them this morning, and uh, we had two, we had two uh, uh, requests for qualification turned in, one from Parker, Fowl, and Company, and uh, yeah. Uh, PB and H, uh, Adil, Brown, and Hill. And those were the scores, and Adil, Brown, and Hill had a higher, uh, I'll had make a a motion, higher score. I'll make a motion to approve for Adil, Brown, and Hill. Second. Motion second. Any discussion questions? Not all those in favor, they could by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Nobody. 5 0. Then item 14, discuss possible action regarding the selection committee results from the request for qualification professional uh, administrative services for Texas CDBG. We only had board. one participant, it's, yeah. a, it's Equity Company, who is, who is our current uh, okay. uh, there's nothing But there's no yeah. number. <coughs> but there was no one. No rank. Yeah, no, we didn't. Okay. Oh, there was only one. Okay. Submission. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. There's a motion to second. Aye. All those in favor, <coughs> anybody say aye. 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 All those opposed, nobody. Who's the second? Aye. Aye. Both. Okay. Next, discuss top action <coughs> regarding the selection committee results of an architectural firm to design and develop construction plans for county fairgrounds, ADA compliance, <coughs> bathrooms, and office. Uh, we had sure. two, two submissions, Garza, <coughs> Bomberger, and Associates, and Raul G. Padilla. Old uh, having a high school. Judge, uh, depending on what is done with Ken, I mean, wouldn't if you hired? Yeah, I was thinking if we get an engineer hired, can we not get them to do the design? Yeah, I mean, couldn't we just wait to figure out what happens on? Yeah, yeah. On yeah. Okay. We'll just wait. Well, you could, I mean, you can select them. Doesn't mean you're going to have a contract with them. I mean, we, we're just making the selection. It doesn't bind us to, to having. The well, I'll make a motion then that we select Mr. Padilla. Yeah. Contingent on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a motion and a second. Okay, all those in favor, make it by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nobody? Thank you. Let me see if it's time. Okay. Mm. Yeah, close. close. Okay. Let's go back to item six. Public hearing. We're going to replant a lot. 
16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, Block 1, Quail Run 2, Subdivision. Uh, the public here is now open. Any comments or? Thank you, Joe. This, this hearing is a, uh, it requires by technical uh, governmental code 232.041, which requires that any time there is a replat of the <coughs> property changes the size of the property, that it be advertised uh, at least three times. Uh, one, one time 30 days prior to, one time during the middle, and one time seven days prior to just be advising people that there is a public hearing and that the public hearing in regards to the replat or the change of some of the dimensions of these lots. And this was done. Uh, also, there were letters sent to everybody within 200 feet of this affected property. Uh, basically, what we have here is this plat almost bordered what's called a correction plat, uh, meaning that, that there was an original mistake made in the survey back when Quail Run 2 was, was uh, platted when it was subdivided. And uh, had there been no change in dimensions of the lot, then this public hearing would not have been required. We were going with a correction plat. However, uh, the all the owners of these lots have signed before a notary agreeing that, uh, yes, they agree to be changed. Each owner will there will be a change of 0. 0.96 acres. Uh, there will be one fence that will be moved. And they've all agreed to this. So this hearing is for anybody that has a comment pro or con to make their uh, comments known at this time. Anybody want to speak for or against? Roger, we had several phone calls on this, and everybody that uh, called was actually, since it wasn't affecting anybody except the people that were on, in the plat, they were all in favor of it. These people the only ones that we had calls to, people thought. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the reason that the law mandates that this hearing be held and people be made aware of, uh, there could have been a, a, a change such as replatting a 10-acre track in one acre lot or something like that that would affect the condition by owners, but that's not the case here. Okay. If there be no comment, then judge, I recommend this public hearing be closed. Okay. Public hearing. Anybody? Then this public hearing is now closed. Let's go now to item 28 to approve the subdivision flat. Judge, I'd make a motion that the flat be approved. Okay. And give you a second to sign. There's a motion second. Okay, all those in favor, thank you by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nobody. 5 0. Thank you. <coughs> all right, now let's go to item 17. Discuss cost passion on the purchase of a truck to replace a truck that was declared total loss. Mr. Cerny? Miss 16, Judge. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Let's, let's do 17 and we'll go back to 16. Okay. <coughs> that you were on the road. Hi. I need a motion. We, uh, I'd actually ask Roger because I know that that truck was totaled and we got huh, the insurance claim on it. Yes. He, but you may come out short. I don't know what it's going to cost to get a new truck. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I believe that uh, okay. uh, Mr. Muskis did a, a, a great job of procuring that truck for our department at a, what I consider to be a very low price. Uh, and uh, uh, we are, I'm awaiting the check. Uh, we forwarded the proof of loss. Uh, we're waiting for the salvage company to come and pick the truck up. But what I would recommend is that uh, Mr. Muskis first price a, uh, a truck, a replacement truck, <coughs> and by that time we'll have the check deposited in the bank and we'll know exactly how much money uh, we'll have to make if, if you need to do that, I can continue to make, yeah, yeah, make a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to authorize the purchase of the truck, and if we're short a little bit, to take it out of continuance. Second. Okay. There's a motion. Second. Any more <coughs> discussion questions? Not all those in favor, Nikki, by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nobody finds you. <coughs> aye. I, I'm sorry, I skipped 16, so let's go back to 16. Discuss post boxing regarding the payment of FT purchases not complying with current purchase policy. Uh, you have a list on there. Uh, none of those are reoccurring charges, and I guess the department just. Motion to approve. I don't know when they're coming in, I guess. Okay. There's, a motion. There's a motion and a second. 
What, what, what can we do? I mean, it, the reoccurring part just seems like we're not learning. Uh, one of those. I mean, oh, yeah, that's right. Let me let me fix that. It's too late to fix. Do we not have a just a list of when they're going to reoccur? Well, each department, if you have reoccurring. Well, I mean, yeah, I know what I do. The root is is the departments need to be aware of what their reoccurring charges are or their subscriptions. And, Huh? In defense of the county clerk's office, the Thompson and Ruthers was never put for us to do POs. It went straight over there. That we were well, never advised. That, like that. we said, all of that no longer exists. Right. But we you have to have a purchase order. Uh, we were not advised of that particular thing and having to have one. That's why it's on. But, but anybody with the books. What I'm saying is that's a, the exact example. You know you have to pay for your subscription. You have to be proactive about going and researching what all your subscriptions are. And I, I, I just, I'm not trying to pick on your department or anything, but that, I'm that's anybody, throughout all these departments. Yes, anybody with books, you know, that, that, that are on this list. Automatic up renewals on software and stuff like that. You signed, we, somebody we signed a piece of paper that says you were going to have recurring charges. That wouldn't mean just a suggestion, Mr. Lewski, is I know that we have a whole lot of books that we get through our library, so what I have to do is cancel everything and then tell them, notify us when a book is exactly. coming, and that way we can send it to them voice before. I mean, it's probably not a good practice to automatically right. renew. Have them contact you and earn their sales loan. Okay. That's a good suggestion. Yeah, that's what we had to do, and it worked out well. Okay. Thank you. All right. A motion to approve. Motion to approve. Would you already do it? Already did. We just need to vote. Okay. I, I made the motion to go to the second. Okay. You sure? Okay. <laughs> well, I got a rope. You did it. <laughs> okay, there's a motion, a second. All those in favor, thank you by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Nobody? Aye. Zero. I think the other discussions are more in the session before we vote on them. Then we'll come back and do the. Okay. okay, the time is now. Uh, 922. <coughs> so we're going to exit the session for sure to the Texas Government Code 551.071, parenthesis 1, parenthesis A, and 551.071, parenthesis 1, parenthesis B, and 551.072, parenthesis 2. Also, 551.074, parenthesis A, parenthesis 1. Yeah. Time is now 10.02, we're back in session. I, I know we um, we table the, uh, <coughs> the fairground sign. Let's get that table for okay. the next meeting. Okay, let's get that table for the next meeting. Okay, we'll table this for the next meeting. All right, next we have uh, the discuss and cost part and approve position for engineer health public we're not public first, but I, I will make a motion to approve a job order that we have here that will be modified just a little bit for a engineer slash risk manager, county engineer slash risk manager, and to set that salary at seventy-five thousand, and that the money will come from the salary that we currently have budgeted for the risk manager, and the additional part will come out of the fifty thousand that we have for grants administrator or something. What was that position? There's grants administrator. We have fifty thousand dollars for grants administrator. Yeah. What, what, if we, what if we use that? Well, we're not going to use. We'll have a balance we're not that we use, can use. We're not going to use that money for. It. We're going to use all of it. We we'll use a portion of it. No, no, we're going to use a portion of it right now. For if we come back and need the salary, we'll figure it out. Then we'll okay. figure it out. Okay. And then the job description I will finalize with uh, Juanita and present the judge. Me. Okay. All right. There's a motion. Second. Second. Okay, all those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Nobody. Five zero. All right. <coughs> Okay, now let's go to item, let's see, <coughs> item 18, discuss what question requesting the commission court to allow 
the EU threat that a member of the investigator Stephen Kaye was salary to increase as follows. The amount, allowable uh, amount for this position is 50,000. I make a motion. That comes out of the grant, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Present that item briefly. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning. Okay. Um, good morning. Basically, what we're asking for, we're not asking for the 50,000. There is a maximum allowable amount of 50,000. We're asking for it to be increased to a total salary of 48,197.04. And that is still within the the uh, right. budgetary amount. Right. Yes. Motion to approve. Second. The motion and second. Commissioner Owens. <coughs> All those in favor, make it by saying aye. 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 All those opposed. Nobody. Five zero. Thank you. Item 19. Discuss boss five request from the commission court to allow the presentation request approve accept district attorney's office year end budget for fiscal year 20 fiscal year 2017. Uh, if I may, and if I could have Mr. Weingart assist me in this as well. What we have, I have made enough copies for you. Okay. Good. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm going to provide one to the county clerk as well. Um, what we're looking for here, guys, is, uh, gentlemen, is this is our fiscal year ending budget for 2017. Can you put one on the, um, on the screen? Okay. The sheet. Here, you can put this one. What this is, is this is a budget which basically, uh, Matt and I have different terminology for this. To me, it's more of an expenditure budget, but it basically is telling you what monies came in for the fiscal year 2016 ending 2017, how they came in and how they were dispersed. This is pursuant to statute 140.003 of the Texas Government Code, local government code, and it specifically requires that we're supposed to uh, render or tender this to you uh, within a certain amount of time. With that being said, I'm late. I apologize. But as you all know, we were going through the budget and, uh, and also going through our audit, so we finally got that done. This was not done, and I would be remiss without saying that this was done with a great deal of effort and dedication and time spent by the officer's office and by Mr. Weinhardt himself, so I appreciate that very much, sir, for your time and effort on that. But this is the budget that we're presenting to you at this time. We're asking that you accept it and approve it, and it's required by the statute. The statute requires that we present it to Commissioner's Court. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Approve. Second. Approve. Accept. Accept. I'm sorry. Motion to accept. And I would further request that the copy that I provided to the county clerk be filed in the minutes of this court. Okay. All right. There's a motion. Second. Second. Okay. There's a mo all those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Nobody. Five zero. And the last one, discuss plus plus regarding the presentation of the of a, a year and 2017 status report from the district attorney's office. Thank you, Judge. May I proceed? Sure. Uh, guys, this time where I get to brag on my office a little bit, and I hope you will join in with me on this. As you know, the first year in office for any yeah, elected official, I'm not showing it yet, okay. is, is somewhat difficult, And uh, but I wanted to share some things with you. As you know, um, one of the things that we established in my office is we established a pre-trial diversion fund, and uh, what we did before I took over, there are very few cases that were given the opportunity and defendants to have a pre-trial diversion. Pre-trial diversion, as the county attorney's office well knows, is, is a system where a defendant is afforded an opportunity to not have any charges, actually no final convictions or being placed on probation or even deferred adjudication. It allows this individual a certain period of time, one year, sometimes up to two years, to undergo conditions and be monitored by probation to basically stay out of trouble. After that term is expired, we look at and see if we comply with all the conditions and terms and so forth, and at that time, we dismiss the case. Well, again, that wasn't being done too frequently before I took over, and if it was, there was no fee that was required to be paid right to our office. The county attorney's office has a system, and I'm not going to lie, borrowed it from their office, stole it from them, and uh, basically, by statute, you can actually have the defendant pay a certain amount of fee to your office. So we started doing that in August, and by the end of the year, we had already accumulated over $8,000 in our pre call diversion fund, which had been tendered through the treasurer's office, and they have access and possession of those funds. Um, so that's one thing that we did, and I think that's a step in the right direction, because we can use those funds later on, especially after they accumulate to a certain point or whatever, to fund the pre call diversion program for machines, personnel, and even offset some salary as well. So I think that's something that was important to do. 
The other thing I wanted to express to you is that, you know, a lot of people have asked me that how many cases did you present to grand jury this past year in 2017? I can tell you that we have presented both to the 63rd grand jury and the 83rd in our three respective counties, a total of 406 cases overall. That exceeds the number of cases that were presented for the previous calendar year uh, by the prior administration. Uh, the next thing I wanted to share with you is that, you know, another question that's commonly asked of us is, well, how many cases did you actually dispose of? So, and again, I do this because we're in a tri-county judicial district, Valverde County being the two judicial seat, uh, pursuant to a standing order that was signed by Judge Cadena recently. Um, so for our tri-county area, which is Valverde, Kenny, and Terrell counties, for the calendar year 2016, before I was there, there was only a total of 442 cases that were disposed of. For the calendar year 2017, for all three counties, we disposed of over 698 cases. I think that's a big increase. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you as well is, Judge, you're aware of this, Commissioners, you're aware of this too. We're always concerned in the county attorney's office about our CR 43 ratings, our percentages, correct? Because we all know that that percentage affects the overall grant funding for our individual counties. And I think we further know that we all have to have a threshold rating of 90% across the board for our adult misdemeanors and our juvenile cases, right? So these figures that I'm fixing to tell you is not just from our office, but a collaboration and cooperation from the county attorney's office as well. For Valerie County alone, let me get to this, which is part of many of the ones you're concerned with, it's a five-year reporting block that we have. So when I took over, it was for 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. At the end of the year, for those respective years, for the adult completeness percentage, and again, this is for both felonies and misdemeanors, we hit a, a, a very high rate of 96%. That was as of 12-27-2017. I thought that's very commendable. I don't think it's ever been that high before. And then we also had a juvenile completeness percentage of 97%. Now, if you take that one step further, and include 2016, which we now have, because they now have that on your five-year reporting block. Again, just for Valverde County, us, along with the county attorney's office, we are now at 91% already for our adult completeness percentage, and that again, that's for felonies and misdemeanors, and we're at 92% for our juveniles. What that means, effectively, that percentage cannot go lower. We already have met our threshold rating. So, I think that's the first time in history it's ever been done so soon. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. I would like to commend the county attorney's office for working with us hand in hand. We've done a lot of things with them. We've helped hug each other. I've actually stolen quite a few ideas from them when I go to court now and present cases and present my cases in court along with my office. And uh, I would also like to commend my staff because they've done a really good job getting all these things and getting these things done. I think one of the most notable cases we had this past year was the one that we went to trial on about a three-day trial, and we were able to secure a conviction uh, against a lady here in town for aggravated kidnapping and some other charges, and the jury came back and found her guilty, and they found her guilty of several charges, three charges, and then they also convicted her of 60 years TDC. I would venture to tell you, based on my experience as a trial attorney in state court and in federal court, that is a very large sentence, even if you compare it to the sentences in federal court here in town. So I think we're doing a good job. I applaud my staff. I applaud everybody working with us, including my law enforcement people. The sheriff is still here. I appreciate his efforts, PD, DPS, and everybody else. So I think we're on the right path, and I really want to continue this this path and look forward to cooperating with you guys in the future. So sure. thank you. Thank Good you. job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. All right, now let's go to item 22. I'll tell you guys the report. Thank you all got a copy of it. Morning, Commissioners. This is the report again is a preliminary report. Uh, the first report that needs to be submitted to the minutes. There needs no there's no need for action. It's just to show you what we ended at the end of the month on okay. most of the accounts. Once the bills are paid, then some of the amounts will change for the second okay. But these are just to make sure we comply with the statute of having the minutes. Thank you. Okay. I may be excused. My son has an award assembly. There you go. Hi. Are you going to post it? Hi. <laughs> right, next, uh, monthly county auditor's report. 
morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. There was a budget report included on this court. I know it's not supposed to come to the second payroll of the court, but I will not be here next meeting, so it is here. But I will be available to answer any questions or do a video conference. I'm sorry, audio conference if any questions come up. Thank you, Mr. Chief. That's it. Are there any certificates of compliance? No. Okay, thank you. Need to approve the monthly report from elected officials? No. So moved. Need a second? Second. All those in favor, look at me by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, nobody? 5-0. Approval of bills for payment? No. Second, Commissioner Brown? No, there is none. Okay. All those in favor, look at me by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, nobody? 5-0. There's no further comments. Nothing else. Then this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.